This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so we're talking about Madonna versus 50 Cent. She does not accept his apology. The apology he put up and took down. Remember, he went off on her for those photos of her like tr- acting like she's 40, maybe, or below. With the, you know, she got the cheeks sticking out from the bed and all that stuff. He says he's sorry for hurting her feelings and all that stuff. What did he say? He said specifically, like, basically, sorry for hurting her feelings. I didn't mean it that way. Blah, 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 blah. This doesn't benefit me in any way. Well, Madonna says it does benefit you because it's social media and you have no soul. Uh, When you wake up one day and you have a soul and you can, uh, you know, relate to other people, you can. But look what the effect she put on her face. This is spooky, man. Madonna's been a little bit spooky this year. I think she woke up one day and she thought she was in her 30s or 40s again. And it's like, Madonna, like, be Madonna at your age. It's still possible, okay? But she's doing too much, man. It's just weird. It's weird after, like, if I was doing certain stuff in my late 30s that I was doing in my early 20s, that would be weird, okay? Okay. You got to kind of like mature with your age, man. You got to mature with your age, okay? If you're not growing as a person, I don't know, you know? I'm not saying Madonna's wrong. I mean, Madonna's still legendary. But it's like, oh, God, it's looking so good. Dude, what's going on, man? 50 Cent's obviously going to laugh that one off. But, of course, she was going to try to keep that going. When you start beefing with 50 Cent, you got to keep it going. Right, because uh, he's going to just keep going. He's gonna, he brings a lot of attention to a lot of people. Then you got uh, Joey Badass. <clears throat> he's on Raising Canaan. He says on a rush track that he got two million dollars for the job, but the way I heard it, because he says, uh, "What is it? F a dude. I don't even got a rap. Fifty gave me like two M's. How I'm supposed to act." How I'm supposed to act, walk around like I'm unique, written back. I don't know. Okay. I think that, like, it's worth $2 million over time, honestly. Because uh, he's going to be in a few seasons, right? And $2 million makes sense over a couple seasons. Um, I don't think he got $2 million for <clears throat> one season. But Joey Badass done a lot of stuff. Like, he's impressive in music he's doing he's doing just doing a lot of different stuff and it's impressive so salute to joey badass he moved into acting he's really you know he's doing a lot of stuff man he was pretty independent before um through cinematic um then we got all right here he is i must have hurt madonna's feelings (laughs) she went and dug up an old mtv you know what's spooky about this too she posted this photo, but she had a Photoshop person like put makeup on her because, like, in the original picture, she didn't have makeup or lipstick on. Nah. So Kanye West shocked the federal prosecutors. Uh, Kanye West and Drake's free Larry Hoover show surprises federal prosecutors with, uh, you know, I guess these are the guys that go against, like, you know, that are challenging Larry Hoover case the the concert raises awareness of larry hoover's case prosecutors reported said that they were surprised to see both artists push for hoover's release calling larry the worst of the worst free larry hoover concert took place nearly 50 years after hoover was convicted and sentenced Uh, the prosecutor said hoover wasn't the trigger man but he called the shots Uh, he was sentenced to 150 to 200 years in prison for murder he was convicted of uh, organized drug crimes which would be rico uh founding the gangster disciples uh he was sentenced to six life sentences and a supermax in 97 and been there ever since they said those who put their support behind hoover is uh and hoover argued the lengthy sentence isn't uh warranted He's, they say he's convicted of federal drug charges and drug distribution, but not murder. He's trying to get compassionate release still. He might get it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. He's in a supermax, though. It's hard to say. 
like he's in a supermax prison. It'd be very rare if he got let out, but yeah, we'll see. Um, then we got. Sorry, I missed something. I got to return. <laughs> Dillard's. <laughs> uh, Nicki Minaj and her husband. Their lawyer believes that this woman, Jennifer Hugh, that has accused her husband of a lot of stuff, and actually he was convicted of these things because he said, but he said he was only convicted because he took a plea deal because he was facing another case. Um, it's been reported that Hugh texted Ms. Uh, Minaj after sharing that she apparently had to change her number and lawyers feel this shows that she wasn't trying to hide her phone number from the rapper. Nikki's team thinks it makes it clear that she, that he wasn't scared and just looking for a payday. Eh, we'll see. We will see. That, that has to go to court. Anyways, guys, that is... That's everything, right? Oh, no, no, we got the baby. He got a bunch of little things overturned, like, you know, attacking limo drivers and stuff. You know, he's accused of a lot of things. But he's getting them overturned, so he has a good lawyer. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Some light news for the morning. I'll talk about the academics girl that, you know, academics screamed on at the Fresh and Fit podcast. She did a response. I'll uh, I'll talk about that in about an hour or two. Appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll check you guys in the next one.